welcome to the Scuba Made YouTube channel. Welcome back to another video. Now this time I'm playing with the Silvio again and what I'm trying to address here today is like a little knock, like, like sort of knock knock as you're driving and the front coilovers are knocking a bit. So it's actually the pillow balls. I'll try and explain what that is. The top of the coil over here when they've got adjustable camber things like this camber plates i'll just show you what happens if i lift the wheel and just have a look in there you can see that that moves and imagine that happening a lot so i'm going to be eliminating that today is the plan i've ordered these max speeding rods camber plates here now i'll try and show you these are nice and tight as you can see in there but i've actually gone ahead and put it in over here already you can see the new bolts here is the old one and i'll just try and show you it was up like that and you can see if i put my finger in there that wobbles so this one was probably a bit worse than that other one even so yeah and as you can also see on this bit there's no way to replace just that bit like i don't know you can't you gotta replace this whole plate. So that's essentially this whole bit. These you can like unspin that bit and get a new get it like a new bush. I think you can press press a pillow pillow ball in there to fix it. But yeah, unfortunately my old coilovers are K office. So yeah, they're pretty old now. I bought them second hand back in the day anyway, so they're actually very old. <laughs> I bought them in like 2004, I think. So 19 years I've had them and they were second hand when I got them. How about that? Anyway, let's get this wheel off and I'll get that undone. All right, I've just got a 21 mil on there. So I'm just gonna try and get this off. That came off nice and easy, luckily. And then to loosen up these, it's just a five mil Allen key. But these might not be as easy but <laughs> right that's them all out now it should just like fall down oh, oh. <laughs> i might have to loosen up the spring actually so yeah i've got the spinners here i'll just get that done there it is k office <laughs> all right so that's that bit out now. And this one's not as bad. The other one was definitely worse. Yeah, that one wobbles around like crazy, whereas this one is still fairly tight. But never mind. It's gonna be both nice and tight. <laughs> so I'll just take that bit out of there. T30 Torx bit also works on the Allen keys. Okay, there it is, and it'll go up this way, I think. It's got a cutout, like the old ones didn't have a cutout in them, so it'll look a bit different. But anyway, it'll sit up in here, pretty much something like that. Now, I don't know if you can tell, but the holes are a tiny bit closer in, so I've got to file it down a bit to be able to put the screws in. But for now, I plan to keep the K-Office camera plates. I could always change to the max speeding rods one and then it would fit. That would actually look pretty cool too. It would kind of suit my engine bay. I don't know, I might do that in the future, I suppose. But for now, I'm just keeping these ones. Yeah, let's get it in there. All right, they're all in about where I want them now. They're all nice and tight. Not too tight, but nice and pretty tight. And then I've gone ahead and popped the strut back in there. I just had to stand on this with my foot, like foot and push it down. So you can see when I do that, that dips down. It was a little bit tricky to get that up in there. But anyway, now I just need to get this piece back in there. Might throw some anti seeds on it as well. Okay, that's that nut back on nice and tight. And that should be what eliminates that knocking sound. That should be pretty much it. Now, before I put the wheel back on, I do have to go and set this spring again. So there's a look what it looks like from underneath. So yeah, I'll just have to wind this spring up a bit. And I'll probably just let it 
let it be hanging there pretty much on its own something like that about there maybe that should be good and line this up tighten it up well that's all of them that was easy didn't need any of these spare collars or any nuts or anything like that and yeah got the old ones out and they're no good and I don't think they can be fixed either so yeah I'll keep these in case I ever think these ones fail or get too old maybe pop them in but there yeah, that's it all done that only took about half an hour aside so really easy that's cool cool that's yep I'll just take it for a quick drive see if some of those knocks and things have gone has gone well I don't think I heard those knocks but I mean obviously it's loud as anything so I couldn't really tell I'd have to take it to the racetrack to really see if it's been fixed but they feel a lot firmer so yeah it definitely seems all right <laughs> and it's always given me a big smile every time I take it for a quick drive obviously so yeah I can't wait to get in it and thrash it again <laughs> at the track but this is one step closer to doing that so yeah that's the camber plate the pillow balls in the camber plate of the front coilovers i guess the yeah camber tops whatever you call them so yeah very easy job like less than an hour to do that whole thing and that basically included filing them down a bit and everything and i can always change to those new camber tops if i want to i don't know i chose not to just to, I, I like the idea of the k office coilovers better than max speeding rods like k office is k chi Tsuchiya, the drift king so it's his brand and they're pretty cool to have in the car i think and i've had them for 19 years now <laughs> which is awesome so yeah we'll end the video up there so if you want share it around leave a comment give us a like and be sure to subscribe and stay tuned for more it'll be either the beamer or the sylvia who knows but yeah <laughs> wait and see i'll catch you in the next one bye for now